do it or they go to their vet or their groomer to cut their cat's nails, but wouldn't you like to know how to do it on your own? Well, I'm going to show you a simple way on how to cut your cat's nails. My model today is my foster kitten, Barbara. This is her. And um, the reason I chose her is because she's between a kitten and a cat. She's a kitten still at seven months, but she's turning into a cat. So you can utilize these techniques for both a kitten or a cat. Now, a lot of kitties don't like their paws touched. So I suggest that when you're watching TV or you're hanging out with your kitty, you always give them a nice paw massage. That makes them feel very comfortable with you touching their paws if you do this all the time without actually trimming their nails. They get used to you holding their paws. Now their paws consist of these little paw pads and I like to call them jelly beans because they're like these little plushy, cute pads on their feet that look just like jelly beans. Some of them are black, some of them are pink, but they're all really cute. And each jelly bean holds a nail that comes out of it. And each nail has a quick inside. Now, if you cut this nail too short and cut it past the quick, it quickly bleeds out. And it will hurt your kitty and horrify you. So I'm gonna show you how not to cut the quick off your kitty's nail when trimming. Let's get started. Now, here are the tools that a lot of people use, these big kind of cumbersome nail clippers. A lot of times kitties are scared by bigger things, you know, like they think your chainsaw is going to be sawing off their nails or something because these look a lot bigger to cats than the ones that I like to use. I like to use these tiny little human silver ones because you can really get in there and see what you're doing and they're very precise and they're simple. You can go buy them at CVS um, or any um, drugstore and this is just what I prefer. Meow, let's do this. So what you do is um, you push on the little jelly bean and you push the top of the, the finger and the jelly bean and you see the nail coming out right here, okay? It's all clear and sharpened to a dangerous point because kitties like to sharpen their claws. Well, inside this clearness, you can see the quick. It's like a bloodline, kind of like a vein that goes through the nail and it stops like halfway. So what you do is you push this out and you clip it only halfway. You don't clip where you see the pink part. Boom. See, no blood, the tip is gone. And the same goes for the back feet. A lot of kitties don't like their back feet touched, but if you hold them in a certain way, you might wanna have a pillow or something for them to grab onto. And you push out the jelly bean, just like on the paw, and you cut right before the pink line, like that. And you go through and you do all of the paws, okay? Now, a lot of kitties are used to their home. And if you try to grab one of your kitties and cut its claws, it's gonna be like, no way, mom, I'm not letting you do this. So here's a technique that I like to use. I take my most difficult kitties that will not let me cut their claws at home and I either put a harness on them and take them out on the patio and cut them there because they're so enamored with looking at everything like the birds, the trees, being outside. They forget what I'm actually doing, cutting their nails. Also, if your kitty doesn't go for that, you can always try <laughs> to put them in the car. Hold them, put them in the car and trim their nails in the car because they freeze and they're kind of like, wait, am I going to the vet? Where am I going? Um, and they're thinking about other things other than you actually cutting their nails. So that's just also a little trick that I've learned over the years of my nine lives. <laughs> so after you do cut all of your kitty's nails, you give them a treat so that they know that they did a good job and they get a lovely little treat. 
for how well that they let you cut their nails. Or you can also, if your kitty loves toys like Barbara does, you can play with them after they get their nails trimmed also. Go get it, Barbara. So that way, if you play with them and give them a treat, they know that every time you clip their nails that they're going to get a reward for it. So I'm hoping that someone learned something from my little how-to video. Once again, my name is Holly Meowie with The Cat Club. You can go to our website, thecatclub.org, or follow our paw prints on social media at the LA Cat Club on Twitter, LA Cat Club on Facebook, or on Instagram. See you in my next video. Bye for